One of the things uh, Google likes a lot uh, when ranking your site is topical authority. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create a good topical authority for your site uh, using two different tools. Uh, you can really choose between uh, one or the other. They both uh, do something really interesting. And these tools are Phrase and Writer Zen. Welcome to Digital Toolcase. Uh, if you like this kind of content, as always, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's go inside this topic because maybe you don't know, but Phrase is not just an AI writing tool. It's not just an SEO optimization tool. You can also find some really interesting SEO tools here. You can connect your Google Search Console to have your data here inside the Phrase. And you have some other interesting uh, SEO features here. For example, Topic Planner, it's still in beta version. You have an outline builder and a Wikipedia concept map. I will start with this uh, Wikipedia concept map because here you can insert a seed topic. Let's say, for example, Home Alarm System. I can choose the language and these are the languages you can choose here. And then I can click on search Wikipedia. And here I have a subtopics list to start from. Let's say I want to start from Security Alarm because maybe I want to build a niche site about about this specific topic. And as you can see, now I have a Wikipedia concept map. So with all the subtopics I can maybe use in my site, I can talk about all these little subtopics here, detectors, security technology, sensors, and so on. And for each of them, you can also go deeper. For example, for detectors, if I click here, I have have all these other subtopics all connected one between the other, radar detector, glass break detector, gas detector, flame detector, and so on. If I choose a sensors, I have a passive infrared sensor, strain gog, motion detector, and so on. So this is a really good starting point to know something about your topic and understand all the subtopics you may insert in your uh, niche site. To make your topical authority way better, you can also click on these uh, subtopics here and you will have another related uh, Wikipedia concept map for, in this case, detector. You can open Wikipedia pages directly from here, so you can learn and understand your topic deeper. But here in these SEO tools, you also have this topic planner. If you click here, you can insert your main topic here. Again, home alarm system for this example. You just need to wait a few seconds and phrase will go on the SERP and will give you some ideas, some subtopics to structure your niche website. As you can see by searching for home alarm system, I have some other subtopics, for example, motion sensor, smart home security system, professional monitoring service, base station, false alarm, and so on. When you choose one of these, you also have some subtopics for the main topics. So imagine you can choose some of these main topics. They can be categories in your site, for example, and then you have all these subtopics. And when you choose one of these subtopics, they get inserted here in this content plan. So you can create an entire content plan for your site, for a section of your website. And then you can also uh, create different uh, phrase documents just by clicking here. Let's say you want to create these four different articles, all related to these main topic. Well, you can click here, create four documents, and phrase will open these four documents for you with these uh, 
uh, key phrase with this uh, keyword as the main keyword. And obviously here you can choose your language and you can choose your country. The other really interesting tool is this outline builder because again, uh, you can build an entire outline, for example, for a single article in this case, or for a subsection of your website. Let's try with home alarm sensor. Again, a phrase will search on the web. And now I have a list of uh, suggested keywords. These are keywords to insert in your article. For example, if you want to write an article about home alarm sensor, if you have the pro add-on, you also uh, can see this number. This is the monthly search volume. Uh, if you don't have the pro add-on, you can't see this number, but you can anyway see all these keywords. And then for every keyword, you have some related questions. So you can uh, structure your outline for this specific article, for example, or for more than one article. You can choose more questions and you can build your outline even in this way. And obviously, once you created your outline with all these questions, here you have people also ask, you also have quota questions, you can click on this create document and phrase will create a document using this specific outline. As you can see with phrase, you can decide your main topic, find your subtopics and structure your entire niche site with different silos by using these SEO tools. You can use these tools even without the SEO Pro add-on. So as you may know, these are the phrase plans. And as I said, you just need one of these three different plans in order to use these SEO tools. I think just with this solo one, you can use them without any limit. You obviously can't see search volume if you don't have this pro add-on, but you don't need it if you just want to generate your topical authority. Anyway, you can find the link in the description for phrase. Obviously, you can try it for five days for just one dollar. Uh, you also have some uh, AI words to use every month without this pro add-on. But uh, if you want, please go watch my other phrase videos and you will see by yourself that this uh, pro add-on is really, really useful. Now let's go to Writer Zen because even Writer Zen is a really good tool to create your content. Uh, it's a while that I don't talk about uh, Writer Zen, but it's still one of my favorite tools for keyword research, but you can also do topical authority, topic planner, and so on. You can try it for free, even uh, Writer Zen. You just need to click uh, in the description. You find the link. You don't need a credit card. You have seven day free trial. So you will see how Writer Zen is good. And now they also included AI in their monthly plans. Uh, if I show you these plans, uh, these are the new prices. With this light plan, you only have, uh, let me check, 20,000 words every month with AI. But now with all these uh, higher plans, uh, you have unlimited AI uh, words uh, and they also added other languages other than English. So even if you are writing for a non-English language, now you can uh, use uh, AI with uh, Writer Zen, obviously, if you pay annually, you pay way less every month. Uh, I'm sorry if you didn't get uh, Writer Zen on AppSumo when it was there, because this really was a no brainer. Anyway, if I go here in my workspace inside Writer Zen, I can click here on uh, topic discovery. For example, let's do the same thing. So I will choose here, for example, I can also choose global if I want. I can choose English and I can insert home alarm system. Let's do the same example and click on search. 
Ok, here it is. What I like about uh, Writer Zen is that it's really good in keyword clustering and also on uh, topic and subtopic clustering. So, in this example, I have my main topic, Home Alarm System, and here, if I click on Show Ideas, I can see many ideas for uh, blog articles. These uh, are obviously already existent blog articles, so this is just to give you some ideas on topics to cover and on uh, uh, articles to write for your blog, obviously. You have a relevancy score uh, for your main topic and you also have here uh, your uh, search volume, this is the monthly search volume for your entire uh, topic, but then you have uh, also subtopic and this is where it becomes really interesting because if you create uh, a niche website about home alarm systems, for example, you can talk about uh, alarm video, you can talk about uh, GSM alarm, you can talk about cheap alarm, you can talk about specific uh, um, brands, for example, Ajax alarm, you can talk about uh, many, many different things, many, many different subtopics, and with Writer Zen, you can see exactly the monthly search volume for every uh, subtopic and here if you click on uh, show ideas you can see uh, headlines you can see relevancy score you can see some uh, questions some uh, other uh, suggestions by uh, google in order to uh, create your uh, topic map your topical authority for this specific niche site you can order them by relevancy or by search volume so you can proceed with the ones with the highest search volume to start with and you can choose if you want a medium uh, relevancy a closely relevancy so you can only have uh, uh, the most relevant subtopics uh, and this is uh, how you do it with uh, writers and obviously as i said these are all uh, already existent articles if you click here for example you go on google on this uh, specific page or article in this case it's not a page but if i go uh, for example in another one let's say uh, this one this is a listicle article, but uh, again, this is just to give you some ideas. Then you can go on the Keyword Explorer section in Writer Zen and do your uh, keyword research. You can create your content and optimize your content. You can check for plagiarism here inside Writer Zen. Uh, this is a really comprehensive tool. Uh, I already made uh, uh, more videos about it on my channel if you want to go and watch for them. Anyway, this is how you can uh, cluster your subtopics here in. In Writer Zen, really, really useful. But uh, once you do your keyword research, you can also cluster specific keywords. So, for example, you can find uh, more keywords relevant for the same article and include them in your article. Again, these are the prices, the monthly prices for Writer Zen. You have some different keyword credits every month, depending on the plan you choose. Now you have your AI writing tool here, unlimited from this plan and the higher ones. Anyway, you can click on the link here in the description and you can see by yourself all the plans and futures for Writer Zen. And obviously, as I said, you can try it for free for seven days without the need for a credit card. 
So this is how you can create your topical authority or make it better using both Phrase and Writer Zen. You can obviously choose one of these two tools. There are many others, obviously, but I usually use both Phrase and Writer Zen. So I wanted to show you how you can use them in this case. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And again, you find many videos about uh, Phrase and about Writer Zen here on my channel. Go check them out. Thank you very much for watching until now and see you soon in the next video.